Hey there my friends, what is going on everybody? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Wall Stop and welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show where I'm discussing what's going on right now in the Bitcoin crypto markets and everybody is asking themselves when we are going to reach the previous all-time high for Bitcoin of $20,000 and looking at the market today, we are seeing that Bitcoin has is continuing to surprise us a little bit and is going higher today as well reaching $16,450 and printing a nice green candle today. But what does it really mean? Are we going to go to $20,000 next or are we going to go down right now significantly? What are the probabilities? Something I want to uh, discuss is very, very important today. We're seeing the market cap right now, $475 billion, up 1.8%. In the last 24 hours, a lot of the altcoins are pumping today. We have empty set dollar ESD. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> Rank 91 pumping 18% uh, today. Market cap of $114 million. We have Sushi, Sushi Coin, 14.6%. Uh, Vita Waves, all of these are uh, pumping a little bit, just a little bit. So overall, we are seeing slight uh, upper move for dominance bitcoin is getting even more dominant 63.9 percent right now doesn't mean that really the altcoin season is over i think it's just the beginning but uh, altcoins tend to pump more when bitcoin is going uh, sideways when bitcoin is going sideways so what's going on right now within the bitcoin price it's important to discuss that so we after we uh, broke here from the support line as you can see on an hourly we had this nice big trend line supporting we broke it to the downside but it was not a significant breakout right it was not accompanied with a lot of volume actually we held quite some times uh this previous resistance level of about fifteen thousand eight hundred dollars one time two times right here three times four times and now it flipped into that the previous uh, resistant flip into support actually and this was supported right here one time two times three times four times and we are rallying right here uh to sixteen thousand four hundred dollars this is of course bullish this is bullish and um the question remains if we are going to now flip this trend line and break the $16,700 level approximately right now. If we're going to succeed in doing that, then I believe we can go to the next level of $17,000 for Bitcoin. However, we got to take a look at uh, also the bigger picture. We have been for many, many days right now uh, in RSI levels that are high on the daily, right? Ever since uh, 20th of October, we have been above 70 on an RSI on a daily basis. Um, I actually accidentally hit the X button right here. So there you go, RSI. So you can see over here, we've been uh, quite some time, almost a month above 70. So this is uh, not typical. This is not typical for the Bitcoin price. This, the rally is strong, obviously. Uh, if you look at the weekly, we have been pumping week after week after week, six weeks in a row right now uh, for the Bitcoin price. So uh, this, of course, 100% guarantees that we are going to see a correction downwards. So we are going to see a correction in a weekly downwards a weekly red candle and uh, you gotta prepare for that right whether it's going to come right now or a little bit later you gotta prepare for a 20 30 percent move to the downside like Lark Davis is saying Bitcoin about to close at six green candle on the weekly last bull run five green candles followed by a 38 percent drop eight green candles by a 42 percent drop and six by a 30 percent drop okay keep that in mind a dip is coming (laughs) a dip is coming the question is really when because we are starting to lose like i said uh for many days we are kind of consolidated there is not a lot of volume that we are seeing right here on the daily really um and we are kind of consolidating in this area nothing really major 
nothing really that significant that happened right now in the Bitcoin price. Yes, we rose another 2% from $16,000 to $16,400, but you know, that's, uh, that's not significant enough uh, when I move enough to go to much, much higher levels to rise another thousand dollars, for example, uh, for the Bitcoin price. So got to be careful. A correction uh, might happen. This is in the short in the short term. We are going to see the fifteen point two thousand dollars level. If we're going to get to this this level here, fifteen point two is going to be like a like a head and shoulder, like left and head and shoulder, and this is a bearish pattern, and we can correct even more to the downside. This is all in a in the short term, right? In the, in the next couple of weeks, but we have uh, at least six weeks until we close this year of twenty twenty. So can we reach? Can we reach twenty thousand dollars even this year? Yes, we can. We can. It can happen definitely. Um, there is a good chance that it can happen, but you gotta be ready. You gotta be ready and prepare because uh, this is not a significant move up yet here for the Bitcoin price with the, enough volume to conclude that uh, you know we are certainly going to go much much higher because we can easily correct and go down to fifteen. You know to 15.8 and 15.2 in the next uh, coming days. Also keep in mind that crypto fear and greed index is extremely bullish right now, right? It is extreme um, greed. It's at 90 right now. Yesterday was 86, now it's 90. It's extreme greed right now. And again, this is something that is not typical, right? If you look at a three months period, if you look at a one year, or even max, right? You can see right here, whenever we were in these zones of 90, look at the correction that, that happened. This was in June 2019, and then we've fallen, fallen down in the, in, in the coming months ahead, June 2019. Take a look at where we were in June 2019, right here, if we zoom, zoom out a little bit. This is uh, June 19, so there we go. We peaked at thirteen thousand dollars, a very nice rally, all the way from uh, five thousand to thirteen thousand dollars, and then we went higher and significant higher, and this was a corona dump, of course, right? So we went for thirteen thousand dollars to eight thousand dollars, even seven thousand dollars, right? So you know, keep that in mind. So we are in a danger mode right now, in a danger zone of crypto fear and greed index is 90. I know that it's, it's you know, looking at uh, some some of the things that are going on with the bullish perspective, right? It's uh, it's easy to be bullish here. Um, however, just do not lose ground and see that we ha might have a, a significant correction uh, coming, right? Uh, so we said we have another indicator I want to show you this Bitcoin market cap to thermal cap ratio and this indicator over here is clearly showing the zones where you, sh you should go and sell your Bitcoin here right when we are in this red zone my red zone this was in December 2013 here we go in, Dece in uh, December 2017 so you see this parabolic moves and we are um, we're just in the beginning phases right here, as you can see, we have not gone to to those extremes in the red area. So this is just the beginning. This is a lo longer term picture, guys. This is just the beginning of our crazy bull run that uh, is going to happen in the next 12 to 18 months. Okay. Also, uh, you can follow this guy, uh, Plan B, from the Twitter. He's he's really awesome. 100 trillion USD. Um, this is a, a chart showing those juicy 60% monthly gains that we had in the, you know, back in 2013, back in 2017, right? Those above 60% monthly gains. Um, if you missed 2013, 2017 bull markets, current Bitcoin price rise to 16,000 is just a small taste of what will come next we are just warming up okay we're just warming up um, this is just the beginning guys just the beginning so that's exciting to see uh, this uh, is his model actually the uh, stock to flow 
model and uh, it's it's printing right now it's all according to the it's going according to the plan uh, which uh, is is establishing itself about a hundred thousand dollars for the bitcoin price um in the in, in the in the next in the end of next year right and we're getting closer to twenty thousand dollars that's for sure according to one bloomberg analyst mike mcglone um one trillion dollar market cap is the next big resistance for bitcoin which is triple triple the val value of of um, bitcoin that we have right now twenty thousand dollar bitcoin is primarily hurdled towards the one trillion dollar market cap the digital version of gold but with more limited supply and a history of adding zeros appearing to be an early price discovery stage and may simply continue to send in 2021 Again, appears to be in an early price discovery stage. <laughs> okay, um, interesting, right? Um, so again, he was he's a pretty good analyst. He uh, predicted actually fifteen thousand dollars back in September. He said we should be trading in, in the, uh, fifteen thousand dollars and more for uh, for Bitcoin. Um, during the 2015-2017 bull market in Bitcoin, there were nine significant corrections with the following averages. 37% decline from high to low, 14% weeks from one all-time high to the next all-time high. And since the early September low, there have been two 10% uh, corrections. So again, another big correction is, uh, is coming. It's due. Uh, we have Citibank, Citibank analyst. I want to reiterate that as well. Citibank exposing its institutional clients to Bitcoin. It's yet another bank that exposes its institutional clients to Bitcoin. And according to the recent report, um, comparing Bitcoin to gold, making a Bitcoin a, a modern digital gold and saying that we may re reach over $318,000 for the price of Bitcoin. Now, they did say as soon as end of 2021, I think it's too overly optimistic in regards to that. But overall, um, the goal is accomplished. There is more institutions that are going to come in uh, essentially to buy this new gold. Bitcoin because more and more reports from Fidelity from Citibank from other big banks and institutions are reading this and saying hey you know those billionaires are getting involved in in Bitcoin I gotta buy Bitcoin as well right um, uh, Fidelity digital asset also published response to different criticism about uh, Bitcoin how for example uh, Bitcoin has failed as a, as a as a means of payment uh, and they say Bitcoin makes the liberty trade-offs such as limited and expensive capacity to offer core properties such as decentralization and immutability given its high settlement assurances Bitcoin optimizes its limited capacity for settling transactions that aren't well served by traditional rails otherwise uh, in other words moving billions of dollars uh, it's not as easy as to, as to settle through the banking system as it is with Bitcoin. No central bank or government can step in to support or prop up markets and artificially subdue volatility. That's in regard to Bitcoin volatility. Bitcoin's volatility is a trade-off for distortion-free market. True price discovery accompanied by a volatility might be preferable to artificial stability if it results in distorted markets that may break down without information. So and they're essentially taking some criticisms about Bitcoin and, and publishing yet another report. We have Skype co-founder that holds a majority of his personal wealth in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Good guy. Very, very smart guy. <laughs> Um, and uh, we have the three billion dollar China shock, and this is uh, referring to it's uh, uh, one of the largest banks in China, uh, China construction banks. Okay, actually the world's second largest bank uh, is planning to raise three billion dollar from the sale of bonds that can be bought with Bitcoin and U.S. dollars. So um, that's of course is a very very good for for Bitcoin, as uh, more people can. Uh, can be buying Bitcoin to participate in programs like this that are offering uh, that the banks are offering. Okay, so overall, overall, um, this is where we are right right now. Okay, to summarize, 
Bitcoin has been rising for six weeks consecutively. Um, we are printing yet another day. If we are not going to break it significantly with significant volume to seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars right now, uh, we are going to get harshly rejected and um, I'm going to go down. Of course, there's a lot of volatility, a lot of volatility right now in Bitcoin. It's good for trading environment, this type of volatility. So we might reach in back the fifteen point eight thousand dollars, fifteen point two thousand uh, dollars right and if we're going to go back to these levels 15.2 and uh, be like some kind of a head and shoulders pattern we might go down to 14.5 or even 13.8 um, and retest this at least 21 week moving average if we go to the weekly the 21 week moving average is somewhere here right now about twelve thousand dollars that's um, you know that's kind of like the lowest price that I would put if if indeed Bitcoin is going to go go down that low. I don't I don't think it is going to go that low. I think we're going to kind of consolidate here and slowly move down and then boom make another shot up to twenty thousand uh, dollars next. All right. Um, so yeah, keep keep your eyes on the charts and if you want to learn more about Bitcoin and trading, uh, reach out. And, uh, you know, there is a lot of trading opportunities. If you are not yet subscribed to Bitcoin's Wealth Club newsletter and different vehicles and ways for you to um, grow your wealth with Bitcoin and how you can, how Bitcoin works and different wallets that you can use, different ecosystems, you can get free access to this training on Crypto Wealth Secrets right here. Go to bitcoinswealthclub.com to get access to this free training. And one of the projects that I'm working on to help me earn trons that you can convert to Bitcoin or Ethereum on a, uh, whatever you want, um, you can watch how it is being done on watch.earntrxdailysystem.com uh, to get access to totally free training. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, hit the like and notification bell to stay up to date with uh, what's going on in Bitcoin and crypto and uh, follow us on Facebook uh, in our Bitcoin's Walls Club Facebook group. Now, with that being said, guys, I hopefully that you have a fantastic, fantastic day and uh, I'll see you in the next episode of Today in Crypto Show.